All right, hello, and welcome to episode six of my playthrough of FTV's Plexiglass Mountain. Um, between episodes, I did a little bit of stuff and kind of got carried away. I upgraded a bunch of stuff in my inventory uh, just to make mining and stuff a little bit easier. So you can see that I've gotten rid of my pickaxe and stuff and replaced it with a flux ball, which is uh, super easy to make if we actually look at the recipe here. It's just a couple of tin gears, gold gear. Drill head, it's um, from Thermal, which is cool, which is why we have this tinker table here uh, to charge it up and stuff. And as you can see, I've also got a flux capacitor sitting in there, getting charged up with a little bit of an upgrade. Um, I probably went, realistically, a little bit overboard with like making stuff for myself. Because um, not only did I do that, but if we look at baubles, I made myself a backpack from Sophisticated Backpacks, uh, which again, super easy and just chill to make, which now if I press B, I've got all access to a big uh, inventory space just for storing stuff. Um, I've also made myself two pocket storage things, um, one for just blocks and then the other one for ores when I do go mining and stuff like that, but I'm not really using either of them yet. Uh, too, um, what's the word, drastically or too intensively. Um, yeah, um, so that was kind of what we did. Um, I went around collecting some of this rune wood log because I discovered that the planks look awesome. Like, that looks awesome to me. Um, and I wanted to build with them. So, I think today I'm going to work on a little bit of automation and stuff like that. And by automation, I mean just trying to get some ores processed. Because if we look in our chest here, uh, we have some stuff, like, turned into, like, iron and copper and blah, blah, blah. Like, just transferred. We've got a bunch of dust. But I really want to have to not worry about doing that and just like putting stuff into the pulverizer and then into a furnace and blah, blah, blah. So I think we're going to make the redstone furnace just so that I can hop her in and just like let it sit there and probably hop her out into this thing because we have the space for it. Um, other than that, yeah, I've planted around a bunch of these trees to make this area look cool. But I also discovered on a little mountain here, if you look up there, there's this little plateau looking thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, we can kind of come up here and look at it. Um, I figured, since that house is looking kind of dingy and it's way too small, I'm going to turn this little formation into our house, or at least our, our base of operations for the time being. Um, I've got some plans for it, but I think I'm probably going to work on that between episodes and just do that off camera, because I don't know how interesting people find building, especially because it's like into a side of the mountain. There's just going to be a lot of time spent digging uh the other cool thing we did is i did upgrade this flux bore i don't know if you guys remember but we made the i oh, not we, we didn't make it actually we found reinforced right is that what it's called um it's called an integral part isn't it yeah it's this one yeah it is the reinforced one i'm just silly uh remember how we found the reinforced integral component um, in one of those chests. I've also put that onto the flux bore as well as one of those stabilized RF coils, which gives it more capacity and storage. And we also did um, the radial upgrade on that as well, which makes me able to go from not just digging single blocks, but digging five by fives and three by threes. So when it does come to mining, this thing is going to be nice and cool. And I obviously did some testing just there. Uh, these things are kind of cool as well because as we can switch through everything we can also enchant them we look at uses uh reactive i don't know what reactive does i honestly do not know what that does but holding gives it more capacity i know that for a fact efficiency obviously makes it work faster and fortune is obviously fortune we also can get silk touch but i don't think that that's what i'm going to go with i feel like um uh, fortune is actually the better way to go with um the way that we do processing and stuff unless until we get into mechanism um but even then i'm not entirely sure so for the moment we're going to just stick with using fortune i think we do get better out of it um but yeah did i do anything else is there anything else i need to update you guys on no i just have my phone not on silent because i'm a professional um whoop i accidentally took a screenshot did not mean to do that but yeah, uh, let's kind of get into what I wanted to for today. Oh yeah, we have no way of transferring power. We should probably do that as well. 
Um, which means I had to think about it. We're going to go the most. Oh no, we can't. Yeah, we can. I think we can do it. I think we can actually manage it. We're going to go the most expensive way to go about um, transferring power and stuff around because we're going to go into laser IO, I think. This mod is fun. It's, um, I played around with it a bit. It's really cool. Direwolf did a really good job with this thing. Um, but it requires a lot of crafting. I'm pretty sure we can make pretty much all of this, except for the logic chips, which require blocks of quartz, which means, which means we need to take a trip to the nether. So I think that's probably what we're going to do today. Um, I need to, do I have a bucket anywhere? I'm sure I do, but I'm not entirely sure where I have it. Uh, there, I just saw it. Bang, bucket. Cool. Let's collect up some water and run underground and see if we can find some lava to collect some obsidian um, and take a little trip to the nether here. We really have to go a long way down. I might cut back once I found some lava. We'll be back in a second. Hello, microphone? Yeah, okay, microphone is recording. Okay, we found some lava, but they're not exactly lava pools and I don't know if there's a lava pool up there. I'm gonna do this a dangerous way, which I'm probably gonna die. Um, but let's hope I have enough mana. Okay, that worked. Um, that is a lava pool, which is good to know. Uh, my heart sank when I came went up there and saw the lava pool being like, oh god, I'm gonna go straight into it. Um, but we saved it. Uh, sweet. So let's turn a bunch of this into obsidian. And I hope this can break obsidian. Totally can. Okay. So let's go a five by five area. Uh, actually, no. Let's go single block for now. Oh, you know what would be really good would be a magnet. We really should make a magnet as well for this stuff. Uh, we have a couple different options and hey, Fluxo Magnet. And uh, expect of five blocks away when activated, up to 11 blocks. How difficult are you to make? Mm, you need a diamond. And you need an ender pearl. I might actually have one. Otherwise, this would be a good one to do, but this requires you having to charge it. I don't know if this one needs you to have it charged or if it just works in your inventory. Let's go with this one to start with. Five blocks away. Let's use a different mod. That'll work. Um, and then instead of five by five, we'll do three by three. And get a bunch of obsidian really quickly. Hopefully. I just didn't want it to go out. Crap. Out. Leather pants. Lame. I mean, it kind of worked. I don't think I lost any. I got six. No, I did lose some. But considering we only need, what, like 10? Is it 10 or 12? I'm pretty sure it's 10 minimum for a, for a portal. Cool. That's 12. That's all we need. Um, yeah, I think that's more than enough for now. So let's probably just dip. Um, use leap to get out of here. Out. That's a cool spell. I really enjoy that. Getting around like that is actually quite fun. Can I use it? Nah, it's not really efficient enough. Maybe if I like time it. Oh, I totally can. Use it to get out of my mind a bit faster. I've got to aim like higher. It kind of works, I guess. Uh, sweet. Okay, uh, I need some iron. Redstone. I'm going to grab out a piece of lapis. I'm going to hope. Yeah, we have one ender pearl. And grab that. Coolio. That's a charm. How do I activate you? Do I just right click you? Yeah. And then put you in my 
one of my slots. There you go, you fit there. Now we can magnet stuff up. It's so good. It's so nice to have. Uh, we got that. I can put away uh, my leather pants, can go into that one. Uh, we need a flint and steel, which means I need flint. Yoink. Beautiful. Uh, let's sleep because it's nighttime. And now, where seems like a good spot to put another portal? feel like there's never a really good spot to have one. Hmm. Let's just kind of pick a random spot. Let's go over there near that lava. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, okay, we can make it 3 by 3. 1, 2, bang. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And is there a reason why I'm going a 3x3? Three three? Nope. I just think they look cool. Uh, let's go find out what our nether looks like. And hopefully there's some cool stuff nearby. Brimstone. Okay, cool. We got some nether quartz. There's some glowstone. Blazing quartz. What are you? Oh, that's interesting. The magnet kind of works by, like, pulling it to my feet. And then my body, like, picks it up. That's kind of cool. Oh, do we have a thingy here, like, straight away? A bastion? Oh, it doesn't look like a bastion, but it's kind of cool looking. Um, what is that stuff? What is... and that's iron. Let's go back to single block. I saw quartz here before. Three, four. We're going to need a lot of this stuff. Um, I don't actually know what the most efficient way to get um, quartz is. But what we're also going to do while we're here, you see it's, we're going to pick up a lot of this nether quartz. Another rack, rather. I'm just going to put it in my block storage. That way I don't need to worry about my inventory getting full with it. Um, I'm going to throw my wood away. That stuff doesn't need to be in my inventory right now. Uh, same with like most of this junk. That can just all sit in my backpack. What does Blazing Quartz do? We can apparently turn it in cobblestone into netherrack, which is kind of cool. Or we can make a block out of it. Ooh, it works as fuel apparently. Can I do anything with the fragments? No. Right click the fragment. Oh, okay, no. Fragments can be used in crafting. What about you? Interesting. What about the block? Is the block used for anything? No, the block is just for storage. But it works as fuel. That's kind of good to know. Um, let's travel. Actually, no. Before we travel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a waypoint. My portal. Otherwise, I'm going to 100% lose where it is. Um, what is that thing? And let's travel the most dangerous way possible here. Hey? Okay, easy kill. Does it drop anything cool? What the heck? I saw it drop a book, didn't I? Did the book go in the lava? I don't know. I don't know, man. No, we've got to be careful where we're going here. Um, this is like a cool little biome. This brimstone and stuff. I wonder if this has like any cool uses or if it's just like decorative. Um, I don't know. This is kind of cool looking though. Uh, and probably a pretty good way for us to gather iron. Seeing as we can just get it out and about. Remember how I was complaining like... Would have been like an episode or two ago where we just like weren't, didn't have enough. Sweet. I'm going to need to collect like over a stack of this stuff. Oh, no, I wanted three by three. May as well spend some time here. Um, I'm going to do this off camera. And we're going to come back in a little bit. Once I've collected a bunch of this junk. And... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be anything too interesting. We, we, might, we might cut back if something interesting happens, but other than that, 
I'm just going to spend some time collecting some resources. It's just mining. It's not that interesting. Um, oh, and I'm also getting really good levels. Uh, what I should really do as well is actually work on an enchanting setup. Like, really badly. But I'm just thinking out loud. Anyways, like I said, we'll be back in a bit. What is that thing? Do you guys see that there on like a pedestal? Is that a wither skeleton skull? Oh, why do I have looting too? What is giving me that? Is it the skull? I'm too busy picking things up. Is this skull giving me looting too? With the skeleton totem. Can I break it? I'm kind of scared that if I break it... Oh, that's so cool. A constructed totem grants you a looting effect, but also buffs monsters nearby. Does that looting effect also work on ores, or is it just on your kills? Alright, so that gives us looting too. Let's see, we got 64 plus 8. And then we got another 8 from that. I think it does affect our ore mining. How big of a radius do you give? Okay, so we've got 25. We mine 6. We've got 31. Yeah, cool. I think we just cheated our way into looting too. Let's go, boys. We're going to break that and bring it with us anytime time we find stuff like nether quartz. Oh, that's kind of dope. Does it stack? Can I get like multiple of these? That's kind of cheaty. I don't know about that. I guess it buffs stuff. I think it's like meant to be for like when you're finding, since it's made out of with a skeleton skull, it's like med for when like you're getting this skulls. Nether ghast ore. Oh, you give me ghast tears? Yo. Nice. Those things are like really painful together sometimes. Um, I should have put down the totem. Looting too is like really, really nice. That's going to make this trip like actually worthwhile. And like spending some time here, like gathering nothing but like resources. I don't want to do five by five. As nice as five by five is, it's like a little bit too much. Dig our way back out with some brimstone. Oh, pff, ancient debris. Okay, don't mind if I do. Yoink. Nice. I mean, there's only one piece. It's not really a whole lot, but one is better than zero. Yeah, using this totem when I go, like, mining and stuff. Actually, I don't know if it does affect it. I feel like it does. Because we got, what, eight piece bits of lapis from one ore. And I feel like that's, like, a too much, right? Single block. We got 16. 16 to 22 is four. That's another six from that one. And two. That one gave me four. I don't know. I can't tell if it actually is. Maybe it's placebo. Ow. But either way, nice. Alright, 47. Let's like try to get like three stacks of nether quartz. I feel like three stacks is fair. Um, and then once I have that, we can probably head back to the surface. If I can figure out where the heck my portal is. That's oh, over there. But yeah, I'm going to keep using this thing and just like breaking it and bringing it with me. Oh, hello, Mr. Quartz Creeper. Are you going to explode for me? Thank you. Those resourceful... Oh, oh, oh god, I forget how much faster lava spreads in the nether. Um, yeah, the resourceful creepers are like kind of nice. 
Is it worth killing him? He's only a one star. It's not going to give me the best loot, but they're going to attack me anyway, aren't they? Because I'm not wearing gold. They're not attacking me. Okay, never mind. I thought they didn't like you if you weren't wearing gold straight away. Because I definitely am not wearing gold. But, alright, I won't argue with them. Uh, and I've also been able to use my spell book, this long break, for like getting stuff that's up in the roof. Um, super duper handy dandy. Um, saves me having to block up and then, you know, break my way back down. But my magnet doesn't quite reach far enough yet. I want the upgraded one really badly. I feel like an 11 block radius would be, is like, well not would be, but is huge. Um, what's that? May as well gather all this lapis as well. Because um, if we are going to be doing some enchanting, having lapis is not a bad idea. And also, I stopped using the thingy. I'd like, I think it's placebo. I tested it with like some more quartz. Um, like mining and like if it did fortune, but I don't think it does. I could be wrong and I could just be missing out on a bunch of stuff, but... Uh, one, it doesn't really matter. I've got my three stacks. Uh, but let's break this last little group. And then head back, I think. I'm going to test something as well while we're here. Uh, if we go slash home, we do have that. Does slash spawn work? It totally does work. That's cheating though, I don't want to use that all too often. But it's good to know, regardless. Nice, what book did we get from you? Haunted 2. Deals extra magic damage. Mm, that's kind of lame. But anyways, we're back. So let's sleep again, because it's night time. Like it always seems to be for some reason. Uranium creeper. Eh, yeah, I don't care about uranium. Just give me the ore. Bang. We can go to bed. Oh, the other thing we need is clay. Do we have, like... I've got 10 blocks of it. It's not a lot. But it's not a small amount either. Oh, this blazing quartz is... I'm actually just going to use it as fuel, I think. It's going to be more efficient Um, to charge up this thing. Because that's 3 million RF and 1 steam, a sterling diamond on it. Dynamo is not nearly enough, but that's fine. Uh, cool. That means that can go in there. That can go in there. You can go in there. Same with that. Uh, same with that and that. Um, cool. Let's grab out some stuff. Let's grab the rest of my quartz. Cool. I've got the clay. The clay needs to turn into balls. I'm pretty sure I need gold nuggets. Nice. Uh, cool. We want to make nodes, right? So we need these things. We need glass panes. They are in one of these chests. This one. Cool. Uh, bang. We can't make that until we make laser connectors. Can't make laser connectors until we get logic chips. Uh, logic chips require redstone. Let's grab that and that. Um, and also need blocks of quartz. So let's make 32. And then the rest of my quartz can stay as actual stuff. Because I'm pretty sure uh, we cannot turn you back into... Oh no, we probably can. Oh, you just crafted out? Oh, pfft. okay. All of it can become... Can become blocks. Normally you can't. I thought you normally you couldn't turn blocks of quartz back into regular quartz but something must have added that so now we go here bang bang logic chips let's make one stack because we're going to use these a lot and then that stack um oh it's too much bang 
again, let's pull out that charcoal. Uh, it can get split into two. And then you can go under there. Uh, this stuff. Spread, pull you out, balance, bang. You can turn back into charcoal. That can live in there. Um, solium dust can probably go into there. Uh, random blocks can go into this chest. Gas tears belongs in mob drops. Plants is that. Uh, your random blocks as well. And that's an inventory that's kind of tidy. Oops, no, I want that back. All right, we've got 14 of these. That's more than what we need for now. Beautiful. Let's make three, which is apparently all we can make. I need one more thing of iron, which we have zero of. So I'm going to steal my iron dust and cook you in here. And all of this is really slow and boring because it's bloody... What's the word? Regular furnaces. Three, that's all I need for now. I need to make a laser wrench. Uh, cool. We need now nodes, which I need more iron for. So we need to wait for that to cook. Uh, can we make a redstone furnace in the meantime? Tin gear. I need tin. Let's grab my tin. Let's see if we can make a furnace. Oops. Need one of you. I need two things of bricks, which means I need to turn whoop, eight clay balls. Perfect. Uh, actually, let's pull this out and put you in there. We can cook our clay balls in here. Uh, you've got no power. That's cool. That's all well and good. Uh, can I make a card holder? We're going to need a card holder from, from laser IO as well. I need more iron still. What else do I need? I need two chests. Uh, chests. Two of you. Bang. They were in my backpack. Let's make that. Beautiful. Uh, now we want to make cards. Going to want four of these energy cards. One, two. Yeah, four energy cards will do. Um, item cards I won't worry about yet, but I want energy cards because this is how we're going to transport our power around. I just need blocks of redstone and actual quartz, which we can make uh, pretty comfortably. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's right. They don't stack. Two, three, four. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right, oh, is it shift right click to turn on the card holder and that'll suck up all of them out of my inventory. And they're stored in there now, which means my inventory isn't filled with junk. That's that. It's eight, which means I can make a couple laser nodes now. Uh, I'm going to grab my wrench. Not that wrench, my crescent hammer, which is probably in my satchel. Yup. And I'm going to turn the dynamo to be facing upwards. I'm going to place a laser node above that, and then a laser node above this thing. Um, on the bottom side, we're going to have an energy card that's insert. No, that's extract. Yeah, because it's going to pull power out of shit i think it's extract and then i think i want you on the downside as energy card insert um and then we're going to connect you to you and what we should see is power yeah drained out of that and power's going into this nice and then what i'm also going to do on you is i'm going to change your priority oops down uh not quite that much uh God, why are you being funny? Why is it changing my so much, Mike? Right click, cool. Shift click. I don't know what's happening. Negative 104. And we're going to do that because uh, once we have more of this stuff, I need more glass. Do I have any sand left? No. Oh my god, these early days of Minecraft, man, oh man, they suck. They suck big time, where you just don't have... 
the stuff that you want and no ability to get things quickly. Uh, but that's why we're doing this. That's why we're, we're getting to this point. Um, I need more sand though. So I'm going to come over here to our little beach. And I normally I hate doing this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going to go three by three and just grab up a bunch of this sand. Now I'm not going to get rid of that face because that's growing our sugar cane. As I slowly drown to death. Yeah, this flexible is actually pretty good, like even underwater. Nice. Uh, let's grab more sand. Just change it to a single block, it's fine. It's really, it's it's like as fast as like a diamond shovel would be. I think. It's like pretty close at least. This thing with efficiency 5 would be kind of nuts. Just quietly. Just between us two. Cool. And then we're going to go like this and get the hell out of here. That is such a cool spell. I love it. Uh, sweet. We've got more of that. Uh, you can come out. Let's cook up some sand. That's my eight bricks done. Nice. We're doing multiple things at once here. I need more glass. Damn it. Uh, you can get split between these two then. These logic chips can go in my backpack for now. Um, what else do I need to make the furnace? Uh, copper gears. I need my copper. Bang. Two of you. Thank you. I need redstone flux coil. Nice. Now all I need is two more glass. Beautiful. And I can make a redstone furnace. Um, a redstone furnace, which can sit there for now. Um, and then now that's useless because there's no way to get power into it. So we're going to make some more panes. And then with those panes, we're going to make laser nodes. <sighs> can I make one more? I need more laser. I need more logic chip. Bang, bang. Laser, one of you, and then just one more node will do, because that's all we need for now. Top of you, on top of you, I'm going to use my laser wrench uh, to connect all of these together. And then the same thing on the downside, just energy card, energy card. Oops, you're on the wrong side, downside. Cool, we can see that with the lasers that are connected to the machines. And this is why we did priority whatever on this one, right? This is going to be get power the, the, the slowest. It's going to try to distribute power from the Sterling Dynamo into these two bad boys first, and then to this guy. Um, but it seems to be putting everything into this one, and then I imagine it'll switch from that one to this one. Very seem pretty slow. And you're not moving. Yeah, one of these Sterling Dynamos is not nearly enough. Um, we need more, but there's no space in here, which is why we're going to work on a base between episodes, I think. Do, 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 do. I love this Minecraft song. Just quietly. Okay. And now that, yeah, see? Now that the pulverizer's full, our redstone furnace is getting power. So it must be working like a daisy chain with um power distribution. Which isn't great, but it's also not bad, I guess. If we had more power, we've solved that problem pretty quickly. Uh, but that all works. So now what I can do is I can go to the configuration. I'm going to do... Oh, we can probably do auto input as well. Auto input on the side. And then we're going to extract to the right. And then you're going to input from the left. Um, and then extract, realistically, I want you to extract to like, no, you're going to extract up. That's what you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Is this going to work? Um, and now I need two chests. Dude, this is like all temporary, right? 
So let's put a chest there and a chest there. I guess it's because they're all on the same channel, but that's fine. Um, I need item cards now. Let's let's just go deep with with laser IO since we're using it anyway. I need more nuggets. All right, three is actually the perfect amount of what I need. Um, cool. So your insert on the top right. So on the downside, we want an item card insert. And then on this node, on the upside, we want an item card set to extract on the orange channel. Um, you're going to be on the downside uh, on the orange channel as well. Oh no, I need one more item card. Damn it. I need one more. I need more quartz. One more. Yoink. All right. Then on this, whoops, bang, on the downside, you're going to have an item insert. No, rather on the downside is item extract. So you're going to pull items from here. And then on the top side, right, on the upside, you're going to insert items. And then you can stay on the white channel. I just don't want them interacting with each other like that. Uh, which means what I should be able to do is just put iron in, raw iron in there. It's going to end up in my pulverizer. Once it gets pulverized, as we wait for this to happen very slowly, bang, it's going to auto extract it into this one. The redstone furnace is going to cook it up twice as fast as a regular furnace and then output it into the chest. So what I can do now is just grab all my raw stuff like that, throw it into there. I'm going to throw that into there as well. Um, let's see, osmium, I don't care about. Tin, I want to probably do up as well. Um, some lead, I probably want to get processed. Nickel, I probably want to get processed as well. Uh, let's lead dust. Probably should just hand insert that, but that's not going to be easy to do. I just got to wait for that to be lead being inserted, but that's fine. That'll work. Uh, let's just leave you over here. Uh, nickel as well, same thing. Tin we got there. Um, is there anything else that I want in there? Probably not really. Um, another thing I could probably do as well is if these don't have pulverizing recipes, it doesn't, is I could have an item card pushing down into the sterling dynamo that's pulling since that. Oh, do you want to do that? Let's do that while we're here. It's totally overkill for what we're doing, but... On the downside, um, item insert card, we're just going to filter this. Actually, we don't have filters. Also, where did that card go? Down. Item insert. Oh, it's not letting it. I wonder, if I rotate you, are you still going to pull power, or does it need to go into that side? No, it needs to be there. Damn. Okay, this isn't going to work how I thought it was. Never mind. Let's pull that card out. Never mind. I was hoping that I could pull fuels from this into the Sterling Dynamo, but because you can only extract power from the face of it, it's not going to work. But either way, we have... Oh, why is that happening? You're on different channels, though. Hmm. You're extracting on orange. You're inserting on orange. You're extracting on white. You're inserting on white. That shouldn't be happening. Why is that happening? They shouldn't be able to interact with each other. Excuse you? That's why I have you on different channels. Up extract. Default. West, east. Oh, we can use sneaky mode probably, actually. Run Robin Force, exact. Ah, oh, I chose the wrong thing. This is the channel. That's the redstone channel. I'm stupid. Down. Item. Bang. Channel orange. There we go. That's what's that's what the problem was. I'm stupid. And that, that's actually confirmed to us if we look at the laser. It actually has like an orange thing going through it that tells us what channel it's on. I was being silly. But hey, we got some processing. 
done. And we did some nether exploring. I think that is... A successful uh, the, 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 I think that is a successful episode. Um, so let's leave it there for today. Um, today's Friday for me, so no episodes for two days. We'll be back on Monday. Um, but anyone who's still watching, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all on Monday. Peace.